I want to talk to you about how to really uh, open an Ace Hardware franchise today. I mean, uh, Ace Hardware is just a pretty uh, known uh, franchise uh, sort of model. And uh, so here are the generalities I want you to pay attention to. Basically, when you think about Ace Hardware, what do you, what should you be thinking about? Well, first of all, you want to think about a neighborhood, a neighborhood sort of business model that's based on profitability. Okay, so Ace Hardware really sells up uh, home improvement products, tools, paints, and a wide range of uh, hardware via the largest retailer-owned hardware cooperative in the world, not just in the states, in the whole world. Okay, and the cool thing about Ace is that the, the this franchise sets itself apart from its uh, big boss competitors by offering convenient, locally owned neighborhood locations that are staffed by friendly expert associates. So you are speaking about proximity, proximity. You are speaking about affordability, and you are speaking about uh, let, let's see um, a contact like a close contact with uh, with customers. So when you think about Ace Hardware, think about building and storage, non-food franchises, and retail, okay? And the cool thing is that uh, basically uh, Ace Hardware has grown to a network of uh, over 4,500 hardware, home center, and building material stores that actually have uh, benefited from over $3.5 billion in wholesale uh, sales last year, okay? And, and and this number keeps growing like crazy. So that's really uh, the, the, the good thing about the, this business model is that the possibilities are there, the profitability potential is there, and there is no other brand in the home improvement industry that says the helpful place quite like Ace, and it has won, as a matter of fact, it has won a customer service awards from JD Powers four years in a row and a Business Week three years in a row. You know, the funny thing is, even during COVID, Ace Hardware was still uh, was still profiting. So that's that tells you a lot about the resilience of the business model. So for over 85 years, Ace has been uh, steadfastly uh, actually uh, committed to the independent owned cooperative business model. And uh, so and actually uh, they are growing the store. The store count is expected to grow by four to five uh, percent every single year. OK, so when you think about the uh, Ace hardware uh, at a glance, you have about the four forty five hundred to uh, six thousand stores. The required investor uh, net worth. I'll speak about the cost uh, later on, but it's about seven hundred thousand. The required investor uh, liquid uh, cash. You are speaking about three and a half or fifty thousand dollars. Minimum investment two eighty to uh, four hundred. Maximum investment two million. So it really depends on uh, the the geography that you have chosen. Okay, so you can actually uh, start an H an Ace Hardware franchise if you can meet the financial requirements. That's definitely uh, for sure. And the cool thing is that. The startup costs are pretty, uh, you you can finance them too. If you have the possibility, you can, you don't have to uh, put the cash up yourself. You can really uh, get a loan or a line of credit for that matter. Let me go a little more into, uh, in granularity in, term, in terms of the cost here. So when you think about an Ace, uh, an Ace uh, hardware franchise, you really have to really understand that everything depends on the geography. So your city and state will determine how much you have to put up uh, upfront. Obviously, if you are going to open an Ace Hardware franchise in New York, you're not you're not going to have the same uh, cost potential as if you were, let's say, opening uh, the same store franchise in uh, Dover, Delaware, right? So, depending on location, size of your size of your store, the amount of inventory you carry uh, you want to carry at opening, because see, the whole thing is that the inventory you carry at opening will depend also on uh, the location and and the uh, and customers' expectations. So depending also uh, on the size of your retail team and many other variable factors, opening a new Ace Hardware franchise can cost you anywhere from two hundred eighty thousand all the way to two million. So you, I want you to really, uh, when you close your eyes, think about two hundred thousand all the way to two million. Okay. Now this does not include any, uh, let's say, uh, any additional uh, additional services such as providing an Ace Rental Place tools and equipment rental subsidiary. Okay. And uh, so after uh, lunch, there is no ongoing relative fee with uh, with an Ace Hardware franchise, which are really great because uh, you can you you have a lot more you have a lot of, you have uh, a better chance of keeping your cash your uh, your profit in your pocket. Okay. The few extra ongoing fees and charges include so relative fee no zero late payment charge zero point seventy seven percent of the of the past due bi-weekly billing statement balance and uh, basically you also have a, a low volume service charge which is $100 per bi-weekly billing period 
if the annual value purchased is less than two hundred thousand dollars and uh, also you you have a core retail services fee which is actually uh, three hundred dollars uh, per month for all parent stores and one twenty five dollars per month for branch stores now whether your your store is classified as a as a parent store or brain store will depend on the will depend on the size of the store, but also the, the location, but also uh, other factors that are, are proprietary to uh, Ace uh, to Ace Hardware. I want to really give you give you more details about the cost. Okay, here are the the uh, estimated key cost to open an Ace Hardware franchise. Let's say uh, this is actually a new store. Okay, brand new store you know, in, new, in a new location. So the key cost, so you have a franchise fee. So the franchise fee goes, it's actually $5,000. You have capital stock subscription. That's actually a $5,000. And initial advertising, you're looking at 6,000 to 12,000, depending on the, on the market where you are at. Exterior signage, you have 10,000 to $30,000. Again, the Delta, the, pain, the, de the, the Delta is there because, uh, as I said a little earlier, if you are in a high advertising uh, sort of uh, territory, such as New York or LA, the cost will be significantly higher than if you were in a low advertising territory. Okay, so 10, 10 grand to uh, 30 grand. Training for you and your retail team, you are looking at uh, $0 all the way to thirty five to $37,000. And uh, in terms of opening inventory, I want you to really uh, budget for 200,000 all the way to $1 million. Again, it depends on uh, the the size of the inventory and also the customer's expectations, okay? And also, by the way, the rivalry in the in the territory where you are at, okay? Some territories are, are more competitive than others, so you got to really count um, the, the competition there. And the store setup, so I'm speaking here about fixtures, improvements, the core, you are looking at $100,000 all the way to $200,000. And also, uh, you got to think about store setup labor. So you have to really pay uh, those uh, setup specialists who will come and really set up everything for you. You are looking at 30 grand all the way to uh, 120 grand. Again, depending on uh, the territory where you are at. So other Ace Hardware franchise startups, you are speaking about instead of opening a new ground, ground up location with all the costs that come with that, you could you could actually convert an existing hardware retail store into an ace hardware franchise uh, franchise location so ace says that converted stores typically experience an 11 percent lift in uh, retail sales 12 percent increase in gross and gross margins and a 24 percent boost in gross profits after con conversion so ace offers special incentives for conversions depending on the size, setup, and product mix of the store in question. So, it's good to know. Alternatively, you could also add an Ace Hardware unit to an existing independent grocery business and take advantage of existing food traffic. There are over 200 Ace Hardware Plus grocery combination franchises across the U.S., so this option requires no franchise fees or royalties, and Ace supplies free initial inventory. I want to talk to you now about about monetization okay so are ace hardware franchises profitable that's a big question that you you need to ask yourself if you are an if you are an investor you want to really know whether or not the roi is there now many variables can impact the performance of any store not just uh an ace hardware store just any store in general so things like your site location opening hours range of products marketing and other important factors will determine if your Ace Hardware store makes money. So, I mean, just Ace is not going to guarantee you that your store will be uh, profitable. But chances are, if you do things right, if you actually get the guidance from uh, from uh, from Chase Corporate, you actually uh, receive all, all the, uh, the the right guidance in terms of uh, marketing, in terms of a uh, customer inter interaction, in terms of store opening hours. You have a possibility to actually make money. Okay, and uh, what I want to say here is that. Uh, Basically, uh, we have done research and uh, basically not just us, but uh, we have actually uh, seen other uh, sort of uh, the other other research that sort of goes our our way. So the average ACE location has a annual turnover of uh, more than three million dollars and your initial investment 
should be returned within the franchise term. Okay, so this is pretty good. Three million dollars. Okay, now what is the failure rate of a uh, of uh, an Ace Hardware franchise? Well, very low, very low. According to uh, Ace Hardware and according to uh, our own investigations, new ground up stores have a nearly ninety nine percent success rate, and the average store yields sales of uh, one hundred and thirty eight dollars per per square foot in their first year. So. That's pretty good. The, the investment is pretty uh, it's pretty uh, compelling. Now, why should you start an Ace Hardware franchise this year? Well, the thing is that investing in an Ace Hardware franchise is really an, an, inter an interesting opportunity. Why? I mean, you have an established brand. You have uh, the demand is there. Okay, You have uh, sort of a, de a demanding market. And you also have the possibility of getting uh, training and uh, skills and guidance from uh, from Ace. So, especially for newcomers to the retail sector, investing in Ace Hardware franchise could be really compelling. So, growth prospects and success within the Ace Hardware brand are extensive and it is a brand with a proven track record. So, if you are passionate about your community, are keen to provide an important local service and can meet the financial requirements, an Ace Hardware store may be the right franchise for you. Okay, And uh, so, Ace Hardware grants uh, its franchisees the right to operate in a protected area it does not authorize any other a franchise or a competing brand to operate in the protected area so that's really good so let me really talk to you about the the franchise resources that you get from uh, ace hardware because ace hardware corporate is going to uh, really help you from from beginning to till the end okay so that's that's pretty good to think that you have uh, such a such support behind you so they provide marketing support flexible store designs comprehensive training third-party financing site selection and construction simple franchise process so that's pretty good so when I speak about marketing support franchisees can leverage national and regional advertising strategies email marketing while development loyalty program apps and local market campaigns to actually uh, sort of uh, deploy their marketing strategy. You also have a flexible store designs. So the franchisor utilizes different store sizes and designs. This includes uh, small urban stores and large rural stores, allowing franchisees to actually make the most of available real estate opportunities. Okay. You also have comprehensive training from uh, ACE. So Ace Corporate has a detailed online and in-person training program to help franchisees manage and operate their stores. So franchisees get training on the franchisor's business concept, customer service, hiring qualified st staff, and how to carry out a successful grant opening. So that's pretty good in terms of uh, meeting, expert, uh, let's say, uh, customers' expectations. You, you also have third-party financing. So Ace has relationships with third-party lenders who may offer funding for the franchise fee, startup cost, equipment, inventory, and payroll. Or you could actually work with the many independent funders who provide business loans to uh, franchise operators. You also have uh, site selection and construction. So Ace Hardware offers uh, its franchisees site selection support to identify the right store location in terms of traffic and, co and competition. And Ace can also uh, help you with lease nego ne negotiation, store design, and build out. And you also have, and this is the final uh, sort of uh, help uh, help process, you have a simple franchise process. So franchisees can really get started quickly and scale into uh, multiple units. So that's really uh, fantastic. So what's the application here? Let's quickly talk about the application uh, in earnest. What's the process for starting an Ace Hardware franchise? So securing an Ace Hardware franchise means what? meaning that you have to pass the uh, initial preview and qualification test uh, because ACE does have uh, this sort of uh, test that they have. So when I speak about initial process, you are speaking about uh, like uh, ACE will uh, will ask you a question. They will probe your management and organizational skills, your communication skills, your, your sales skills, a successful track record, leadership qualities, and a sound knowledge of marketing, okay? And if you pass the qualification test, next you do next you have to do your own market research. So this would include an assessment of the competition in your selected opening area, and also the potential for sales and growth. Okay, 
So will the store be in a, in a location that's expanding with new homes and businesses arriving or older properties being refurbished? So you have to, um, so about that, you have to calculate the, the likely footfall. So <coughs> apologies for that. So basically I was going to tell you that you want to calculate the likely uh, footfall and how many uh, sales you can make per day. And if the data adds up, explore your franchise funding options and uh, be sure you meet the minimum net worth and, and liquidity uh, levels. And after that, make your initial investment, then start your training program. OK, so this is pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. And uh, so in terms of training, you have to really remember that you have a uh, training available at uh, headquarters prior to opening and ongoing training at franchisees uh, location. You have comprehensive operations manual manuals provided and training is offered in all functional areas of operation service and promotion okay you also have a financial management and back office procedures hiring training and managing employees effective store marketing techniques purchasing and inventory strategies so that's pretty good and uh you also have uh so what i'm trying to say here is that ace hardware really goes uh in depth and uh to really like to really give you a the management style that you need to have. I mean, not you don't need to, have, but you just need to uh, follow the best practices when running your store. So when you think about uh, Ace Hardware, I want you to think about the fact that you have the the, the possibility actually to uh, to have a new store incentives. So what happens here is that Ace Hardware is actually trying to uh, incentivize investors like you and me to actually. Uh, open an ace hardware franchise so so as a matter of fact they actually uh will give you a new store incentive that goes all the way to a three hundred and thirty thousand dollars okay and uh the, and even better you have no royalty fees and a portion of the company profits are distributed back to all to the retail owners every single year so that's that's really good you also have an, and, and that's the biggie that you need to really remember you have independent ownership with dedicated training and support Flexible product mix that can be customized to your local market, and this is really good. And uh, you also you have a, you have a solid foundation and f and uh, fed proof feature. That's what I tell you. Uh, I told you a little earlier that during COVID, Ace Hardware stores were still making money because a lot of folks were home all of a sudden, and they realized, hey, listen, I, I need to renovate my house, or whatever. I need to really uh, fix the basement. I need to fix the backyard or front yard. So people were going to uh, Ace Hardware stores to actually get something. And, and that was really good. So even during COVID, a lot of a lot of uh, Ace Hardware stores were profitable. OK, so when you think about uh, this sort of business model, you, you have a solid foundation and fad proof future. So that's pretty good. And uh, so one thing I need to say here is that Ace Hardware is actually a, a semi absentee franchise with a passive ownership opportunity. Basically, uh, a, a semi absentee franchise is actually a business you could start and run while still maintaining a job or other obligation okay and uh so this is really good but ace uh, hardware is not a home-based franchise you have to really uh have a location and uh so you have to really also understand that the possibility to have a, a master franchise opportunity is actually uh there with ace hardware basically what, what happens here is that ace hardware becomes the master franchise opportunity if you are in the right uh, geography so a master franchisee is responsible to recruit, train, and support franchisees in their territories. So this is kind of this is kind of cool. So everything depends on the the geography where you are at. Okay. And one thing I also want to say is that uh, just remember that in terms of funding, because I, I have spoken a lot about money, right? I've spoken about two hundred eighty thousand all the way to a two hundred to a two million dollars. Just remember that you are you have the possibility to actually. Uh, get funded okay that's the, that's one thing I, I, a lot of people a lot of, of uh, entrepreneurs and investors think that they have to come up with the money themselves no you just have to make sure you have good credit and uh, uh and and uh, ace will actually work with uh it's um it's a network of lenders it net, it's network of uh of financiers to make sure that you get the, the financing you need for your franchise So here's the bottom line into this conversation. I spoke to you about Ace Hardware franchise. I gave you the generalities, the cost, the monetization, the application, and the bottom line. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.